Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about solving problems on properties of parallelogram. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this will be quite complicated class since we're dealing with equations. But once again class, do not be worried because we will be answering this one step by step. By the way class, the next part of our video is still solving problems and we are dealing with diagonals. Okay, so finding the value of AE and CE and many more. And we also have problems with regards to the angles. So this will be the next part of our video class. Let's focus first in finding this value of x and finding the value of y. Alright, so we have given parallelogram A, B, C, D. We have given line segment A, B. That is 3x minus 5 centimeter. And we have given line segment B, C. 2y minus 7 centimeter. And we have given C, D. x plus 7 centimeter. Line segment AD, that's quantity Y plus 3 centimeter. So, we do have some questions here. Letter A, what is the value of X? Letter B, how long is AB? Letter C, what is the value of Y? And so on. So, first step to do class is we need to label this one. So, given AB, we have 3X minus 5. Let's ignore first class the units. So, AB, that is 3X minus 5. Alright, I will just ignore class centimeter. For B, B, C, sorry, B, B, C, that is 2Y minus 7 centimeter. So, I will just ignore centimeter. For C, D, we have C, D, that is X plus 7, line segment C, D. And for line segment A, D, so this A, D, that would be Y plus 3. Alright, so first step, first question, what is the value of X? So, therefore, class, the segment A, B, line segment A, B, is the same measure with line segment DC. Why is that, sir? According to the properties of parallelogram, the first property, opposite sides are congruent. So therefore, this side AB is congruent to the side CD. Okay, AB is congruent to side DC. Or we can write this one as AB, line segment AB is congruent to line segment DC. And if it's congruent class, we can equate this following equations. So we can write this one as 3x minus 5 for AB. Once again class, this side is congruent to this side because opposite sides are congruent. And we can find the value of x by equating this equation. So 3x minus 5 is equal to our DC is x plus 7. Alright, and to get the value of x, we transpose this x from right to left. And then we transpose this 5, this negative 5, from left to right. So transpose this x from right to left. This is positive, it will change the sign. It will be negative. And this 5, transpose this 1 from left to right. So that the remaining equation class on the left side will be only x. So this will be 3x. Then this x, you transpose this 1, you change the sign. This is positive, it will be negative x. Do not forget class, once you transfer an equation from this equal sign, you change the sign. So this is copy 7. This is negative 5. You transpose, it will be positive 5. Alright, and this will be 3x minus x. 3x minus x, that would be 2x. Once again, plus 3x minus x. Do not forget that there's 1 here. So 3 minus 1, that is 2. Copy x. So 2x equals 7 plus 5, that is 12. And to get the value of x, you divide both sides by 2, divide by 2. So our x is equals to 12 divided by 2, that is 6. That's it, plus. That's the answer for letter A. x is equals to 6. Question letter A, what's the value of x? x is equals to 6. That's it, plus. That's the answer for letter A. Alright, so x is equals to 6. Easy, right? In finding the x value. So... Next question, letter B, how long is AB? So, how long is this AB? So, to get the value of AB, since we already have the value of X, we just simply substitute X from this given equation. So, line segment AB is equal to 3X minus 5. So, this is equal to, once again, plus if you have 3X, it means 3 times X. So, 3 times this X value, which is 6. Substitute 6 class from x value. So this will be 3 times 6 minus 5 equals 3 times 6 class. What's the answer? 3 times 6 that is 18 
minus 5, 18 minus 5, that is 30. So therefore, line segment AB or side AB, that would be 13. 13 centimeter class. Okay, we're looking for the side. 13 centimeter for AB. So AB is equals to 13 centimeter. All right. That's the answer class for letter B. So therefore, if this is 13 for AB, so 13 centimeter for AB, therefore DC, it should be 13 centimeter, right? Because opposite sides are congruent. Let's check class for DC if it's 13. So DC, line segment DC, is equal to X plus 7. And the value of X, that is 6. So 6 plus 7. 6 plus 7, that is 13. Same answer class. This is 13 centimeter. Alright, so we're done with letter B. Alright, so I hope you understand this one class. Once again, class, if you have some questions with this one class, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can always message me, class, in our Facebook channel. Same name with our YouTube channel. Alright, let's try letter C. Question letter C. What is the value of Y? What's the value of Y? So, in this equation, class, for y values, we have y plus 3 for AD, and we also have 2y minus 7. Alright, so we can equate this one because opposite sides are congruent. Therefore, we can say that this side is congruent to this side. So, this side is congruent to this side. So, we can say that line segment AB, I'm sorry, AD, line segment AD is congruent to line segment PC because opposite sides are congruent so this side is congruent to this side alright so we equate because these are equal equal sides so we can equate this one this will be y plus 3 equals 2y minus 7 once again class we need to get the value of y alright so in this scenario class instead of transposing 2y from right to left we just simply transpose y from left to right Okay, because if we transpose 2y from right to left, this will be y minus 2y. And y minus 2y, that would be equal to negative 1y. Once again, there's 1 here. Always remember that there's 1 numerical coefficient of 1 for any variable. So 1 minus 2, that's negative 1. Simply copy y. It will be negative 1y or negative y. And once again, this will be quite confusing since we have a negative number. So instead of transposing 2y from right to left, we just simply transpose y from left to right. This y from left to right. Always remember class that y, okay, example 3 equals y. Just in case class, if your answer is 3 equals y, it's just the same with y equals 3. So it doesn't matter class, this is just the same. 3 equals y is just the same with y equals 3. So instead of transposing 2y from right to left, we just simply transpose y from left to right. So transpose this one, this y, so that our answer class will be positive. This is just the same class. 3y equals, 3 equals y is just the same with y equals 3. So we transpose this y from left to right so that our answer will be positive. 2y minus y, that would be positive y. Then we transpose this 7 from right to left. So, this will be copy 3, this is negative 7, it will be positive 7 equals copy 2y, so positive 2y. Then y, you transpose this one from left to right, it will be negative y. And 2y minus y is just y. So, your answer will be positive. So, this will be 2y minus y, understood that there's 1 here, 2 minus 1 is 1, copy y. 1y or it's just the same with y. So, this will be y, then 3 plus 7, that is 10. That's it, class. Easy, right? So, 10 equals y, or it's just the same with y equals 10. Once again, class, this is just the same. Do not be confused, class. This is just the same. Alright, so therefore, the value of y, that is equals to 10. So, y equals 10. Alright, so next, we need to find... How long is AD? Letter D, how long is AD? So this one, how long is AD? So once again, substitute the value of Y from this equation. So AD, line segment AD is equals to Y plus 3. And our Y is 10. So 10 plus 3. Therefore, AD, line segment AD is 10 plus 3, that is 13. 
13 centimeter. Alright, so AD, that would be 13 centimeter. So, AD is 13 centimeter. Therefore, if this is 13, for AD, BC should be 13. Because opposite sides are congruent. So, let's check this. So, BC, line segment BC, that would be 2Y minus 7. Let's check BC class if it's really 13. So, 2 and our Y is 10. 2 times 10 minus 7. 2 times 10, that is 20. Okay, 20 minus 7. 20 minus 7, that is 13. So, BC, line BC is 13 centimeter. Therefore, all sides are congruent. We have 13 for AB. BC 13, CD 13, DA or AD is 13. Therefore, the sides are congruent. Four equal sides. Therefore, class, this is a rhombus. So, remember class, a rhombus, the properties or the definition of a rhombus, four equal sides. Therefore, this is a rhombus. Once again, class, do not forget that a rhombus is a special type of parallelogram because a rhombus, it, it has two pairs of parallel sides. Special type of parallelogram. Therefore, this figure class is a rhombus. Four sides are equal. Alright, and then, last part, letter E. What is the perimeter of parallelogram ABCD? So, therefore, the perimeter of parallelogram ABCD, we can actually write 4S class because they have the same side. So, 4 times the side. But I will just write it angle, I know, sorry, side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 plus side 4. Because perimeter is the sum of all sides. So that would be 13 cm plus 13 cm plus 13 cm plus 13 cm. So the sum of all sides. So 13 plus 13, so we don't have enough space here. This is 13 cm plus 13 cm. Alright, so 13 plus 13 is 26, plus 13, that's 39, plus 13, that is 52. 13 times 4, that is 52. Let me check this. 13 times 4, 4 times 3 is 12, carry 1, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 52. So, the perimeter, that is 52 centimeter. Alright, that's it, plus. All set. This is 52 centimeter. So that's it class, all set for this one, solving problems on properties of parallelogram. So if you have some questions with this one class, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can always message me class in our Facebook channel, same name with our YouTube channel. So I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, class, the next part of our video will be quite complicated. We're dealing with diagonals. But once again, class, do not be worried because we will be answering this one step by step. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.